Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Tobias playing modern lantern control in a two man. My enemy, my opponent enemy, oh, ha, opponent is Satori. Um, let's see what happens here. Um, don't have color, colored mana here for the ancient stirrings. And I'm two turns at least away from activating a Mox Opal. So this is a mulligan, I guess. And this looks better, so it's a keep. Glimmer Void. I don't think I want an additional Glimmer Void here. I've got the Mox Opal to save my Glimmer Void. And I have a second turn, Abrupt Decay. Yes, I lead with Glimmer White here. I doubt that he will um, he will kill any of my artifacts. And I milled him to get to know uh, his deck a little bit better. Looks like standard blue white control to me. Ah, could be blue white red control here. Haven't played against this in a while. Sartsies, okay. Why not? Let's get to know my opponent's hand a little bit more. Snapcaster Mage will be stellar in this match, I guess. Yeah. Okay. As long as his graveyard is empty, that's good. Uh, spell snare doesn't do much against me. Mana leak, however, does. So I'm going to pick mana leak here. And then I'm playing land of war wastes and the ghoul caller's bell. Which activates my um, Mox Opal, but that isn't useful to me right now. And in order to save time, I mill here. Could mill myself, but I don't think it is a good strategy right now. Because I cannot get anything back unless I have 5 mana. So for now it's okay to mill me with the... Uh, ghoul Callers Bell alone. I would like to draw Girapur is a grid or something like this. Okay. So I can sort seize him again. Are we going to see flashback? Snapcaster Mage flashback Lightning Bolt. Electrolyze, okay. Geist of Saint Treft. That's good that I got this one. Don't think the Electrolyze was correct to be played here. But okay. I guess I um, I am going to abrupt decay the Snapcaster Mage here to conserve life total. He doesn't have another mana for for an angel for Restoration Angel. Don't know if he plays them, but looks like the game uh, looks like the deck that does. Oh, that's a bad draw for me. Now I need an ensnaring bridge badly. Yes, called it. Okay. But I'm not on dry ground yet. 
he can have um, cryptic command Keranos, wow that certainly was a good card to mill so it seems to be important to mill him early so far this is running according to plan 40 cards more to go that's 20 turns right now a little bit much let's see what he has in his hand pass to exile spell snare um hmm and the restoration angel okay another lightning bolt vendillion click okay would be better to mill some snapcasters or draw a um, removal spell for the snapcasters in the graveyard surgical extraction for example uh, and drawing another ghoul caller's bell is welcome too Tonic Edge, not bad. Mountain. And another Geist of Saint Drift. Okay. Thirty three cards to go. Academy Ruins certainly is a, a very good draw here. I will add uh, another, probably Lantern of Insight. That he then can counter if he wants to. Being able to manipulate his draws definitely is great. Can play around magic here. Okay. So I, yes, he scoops. Didn't think that he would get another good draw out of this here. With three mill effects, I can manipulate his library so much. Okay. Um. Hmm. The gaze of Saint Treft is a problem. I keep the abrupt decays because he can play enchantments that I have to kill. The enchantment that uh, disables all my abilities on artifacts, for example, is something I have to get rid of. I think because of the Geist of Saint Traft, I need Pyroclasms. And don't think that I need the Pirate Spell Bombs in that case. I haven't seen much to needle, so I can have Craftiger's Cage. Maybe I want the needles for something, I don't know. Sword Seas is a pretty good card here. Guess I'm cutting a spell size and a sword, a spell guide and a sword seize for two welding jars. But that's it, I guess. I'm not sure if I need all three pyroclasms. Seems a bit much. On the other hand, there is no other way to stop his Geist of Saint Raft, other by an early surgical extraction, perhaps. So, yes, I guess I'll play two pyroclasms here he's not that aggressive and it's really only the one card that i need to hit with this and it can be stopped by ensnaring bridge as well maybe i want more um, artifact protection but he can play hide instead of destroying my artifacts outright so here i got hand disruption and the glimmer void so, yeah, I'm keeping. Um, Pyro 
Klassen, okay. Would love to play a Sortsies here, but I'm going for the Graph Digger Screech instead. And next turn I'm for sure playing a Sortsies. That he can counter, of course. Yes, come avoid it is. Four Sotsis. And there is the Geist of Saint Treft. That's pretty good. Because now I have the surgical extraction for it. And that is definitely good. Hard on my life total. Now he has got a Vendillion click that I cannot deal with because he can uh, take my Pyroclasm. Oh, I should have had a better look at his library. I always forget this. But I boarded out the Pising Needles nevertheless. So here comes Vendillion click in my draw step, I guess. Doesn't no, he does. Okay, he will take the pyroclasm here. He has to. Otherwise, I will deal with it. I, on the other hand, am going to play ancient steerings here. Oh my god into nothing too useful. I guess I'm taking the Codex Shredder here. Then I'm thinning his hand. Snapcaster Mage, definitely the card I want to discard here. And then I'm probably Codex Shreddering myself at the end of his turn because I can put artifacts back on the top of my library. And I need to find Ensnaring Bridge quickly. Because his Vendillion click will be a nightmare otherwise. Sotsis, good. Not a card that I wanted to draw right now, so that's okay. Welding Jar. Another card that I didn't want to draw right now. For now I am keeping the Inquisition of Kozilek in my hand. But when Dillion click might go all the way. It's a three turn clock. Celestial Colonnade is online as well. Next turn, right? No, two turns. Undo, mill myself, Mox Opal, don't want to draw on Mox Opal, mill myself, Tender Ice Bridge, okay, another Inquisition of Kozilek. Burn spell, negate. Okay. This is it. Now I need an answer. And I need to find it this turn. Or in my next draw step. Otherwise I'm dead. Ok. 
Okay, he drew a land. Ghoul Caller's Bell isn't going to do it. So, I can concede here. When Dillion Click went all the way, I guess I made did most of the decisions correctly here. Got rid of the Geist of Sand Draft pretty early. That was good. Did not see any artifact destruction. Again, I could have used my surgical extractions more wisely. Then I could be could do a better sideboarding here. Maybe I want a Torpor Orb instead of two Craft Digger's Cages, because it essentially does the same thing. Just have to play around Spell Snare. But that's okay, I guess. It doesn't have that much burn that I want a Sun Droplet here. And Torpor Orb will deal with his Vendillion Click. Um, yeah, okay, this is, is a keep, I would say. Um, is it better to play Ancient Steerings over the Codex Shredder? Guess I can do this next turn. Start an early s milling and conserve time. Place it tapped. Good. Now I can go and find something. Ensnaring Bridge definitely is the card I want here. Yeah, it is. then I'm paying here because I can play an early surgical extraction if I hit a Geist of Saint Draft, for example. I don't. Okay, now I guess he has counter spells. Maybe Manlik, I don't know. Let's mill him. Restoration Angel. Vendillion Click. I'm sure this is just a one-off in his deck. Right now I have no intention of playing Abrupt Decay. Um, yes, playing Abrupt Decay or Ensnaring Bridge here. He has no threats on me. Lightning Bolt, okay. Lightning Bolt isn't a bad target for the Abrupt Decay. There is the Geist of Saint Trev that I was afraid of. In that case, uh, undo. In that case, I am stripping him of lightning bolts. Yeah, hit him. Okay. So let's have a look at his library. He has Vertes. Oh, Vendillion Click isn't only a one-off. I could have known this. So, Keranos is a really good one. Everything else, he doesn't have any bounce engineered explosives. Okay. So he has a few outs against me, but I have to aggressively mill him. Just to survive. I gun your castle, okay. There goes a wear tear, that is very good. He can hit me at least once with the Geist of Saint Draft because I cannot get rid of all the cards in my hand. Maybe he found 
something to destroy my engineering bridge as well. Jace. Okay. Jace will be tough to beat as well. Blood Crypt. No. Mill him. Maybe I need some needles back. But there isn't a third game, right? So, Saltsies. I'm picking the Molten Rain here. Deals the most damage to me. I don't think that I can deal with his chase. Okay. So, uh, great. Well, yes. Do I drag and drop or do I click? Okay, so he gets his dreaded engineered explosives. If he plays them right now for three, I have a chance. If he waits until he has more mana, I don't. For one. For one is strange. But okay. Have it for one then. Not so sure why he did that. Would have been much better to play it for three. But okay. That's a really bad draw here. I'm taking the mana leak. Looks like this chase will be my doom. Snapcaster Mage, yes. Onverter, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well, now his angel can attack, and I'm dead. Well, this happens. Could have gone another way too. It's interesting that he doesn't run any cryptic commands. Uh, technically, I'm not dead yet, because I can abrupt decay the angel. But it's highly unlikely that I will draw another ensnaring bridge here, right? And then a lightning bolt kills me, so... Hmm. Don't think that I have a chance here. Yes, and now it definitely is over. Ah, uh, no. Let's do it like this. Okay. So he took the Molten Rain. I draw a Mox Opal so he can attack and I am dead. I thank you for watching.